it happens to everybody. You have spent hours studying, studying. You look back over what you've done and realize that none of it has gone in. And all that time you've been studying has been wasted. Now, this happens all the time. I know because it happens to me as well. So here are five things that you can do to stop it happening again. The first thing is stop what you are doing. It's not working, so there is absolutely no point just doing the same thing over and over and over again in the hope that it will start to work at some point. It won't, just stop move on. You can either move on to a different subject, say if you've been doing maths for a couple of hours, which isn't a good idea, you need to move on and do something creative like English or arts or something where you have to do a lot of writing like history. Or if you've been doing one technique over and over again, it's switched to a different technique. What works really well when studying for some people isn't going to work really well for other people. Maybe start keeping like a little journal, a little log of when this feeling hits you. Does it happen at a certain time of day? Does it happen when you're doing a certain type of study technique? And then adjust what you're doing accordingly. If you know that this happens at six o'clock every single day, well, don't study at six o'clock every single day. Do something else useful like go and getting some exercise or tidying up or something like that but if you know at this certain point or using this technique or with this subject well we can't really avoid studying a certain subject but if you know there are certain triggers for the it not going in feeling then stop what you're doing second thing it is really important to give yourself a break. You should not be studying for hours and hours and hours on end because your mind doesn't work like that. It wants to do short, sharp bursts of information and then move on to another thing. So ideally you want to be studying in about 25 minute chunks and then having a five minute break. But if you've been studying for hours and this is not going in feeling happens, give yourself a break. And don't get annoyed with yourself that you're having to take a break or that you're allowing yourself to take a break. It's okay to take a break. You do not have to keep studying, 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 studying over and over again until you fall down. You need to take a break. Three, the worst way to study is by reading something. And I know so many of you do that and you sit there and you're reading and you're reading and reading and realise you haven't actually taken in anything of what you read over the past couple of pages pages you need to make your studying active so if you're reading go along and make notes at the same time make a mind map make flashcards make a youtube video as you are studying but do not just sit there doing something passive do something active so do practice questions use your flashcards and um, cover up bits of the mind map and try and remember what it is don't just sit there and read be active be doing something be testing yourself constantly just reading stuff is not going to work Four, you are doing a lot of studying and let's be honest it can get really boring so try and make it not boring. There is absolutely no rule that says your studying has to be done on white paper with a black pen. Go crazy with the glitter glue. Why not? Make all of your mind maps on large, large pink sparkly paper. If it's more interesting, your brain's going to pay more attention to it. Reading black text on white paper is tedious and hard work, so don't do it. Get all the different colour pens out, go crazy in the craft store and put sequins and all kinds of things all over it. Make your revision interesting to look at, make it interesting to do. Don't just let it be boring. And then the last one, number five, is make sure you have your priorities in place. Um, if you spent ages something studying, something studying, studying, and it's not going in, switch, move on to something else, but make sure what you move on to is a priority. I know it's really, really tempting to want to spend ages studying your favourite subjects, but we need to get good grades in English, we need to get good grades in maths, we need to get good grades in stuff we want to study further down the line. 
So make sure that if you are really, really struggling to study, that you spend your time focusing on the stuff that is really, really important. So five ways to help you study if it really isn't going in. Number one, stop what you are doing and change it. Number two, give yourself a break. Give yourself permission to have a break. Number three, make sure what you are doing is active and not passive. Four, make sure what you are doing is not boring, that your brain isn't bored by what they are seeing. Make it colourful and interesting and sparkly. And number five, make sure you have your study priorities in order so that if you are struggling to study, you're not wasting too much time on things that aren't important. So good luck guys. Remember, I'm keeping all of my fingers crossed for you. Um, if there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.